Instrumental case for many learners is the one that is distinctively Russian. Its main usage is with something or with someone and that object something or someone should be in instrumental case. For example, он пишет карандашом. Карандаш is a masculine noun. We add ending om and we get a noun in instrumental case. Карандашом. Карандаш, a pencil, is a tool here. That is why instrumental case is called instrumental because instrument, a tool, that gives the name of that case. But is this the only usage of that case? Of course not. We will have a look at five usages. The second one is we use instrumental case after together with. In Russian it is preposition с. с. Я хожу с карандашом в кармане. Я хожу с карандашом в кармане. Can you see? Now карандаш, a pencil, is not a tool. I just have it in my pocket. I am just walking with the pencil. Uh, let's take another noun. For example, друг, a friend. Друг. If I want to say, I will come with my friend, should I put a preposition с in Russian variant or not? Of course I should, because I will come with my friend, together with my friend. It is not a tool. And I say, я приду с другом. Я приду с другом. So, we already have two usages of instrumental case. The first one is a tool and the second one when we put preposition s. After that, the object is in, is in instrumental case. The third one, we use instrumental for parts of the day and seasons when we answer the question when. For example, in the evening, in the morning, in winter, in summer, all these objects, winter, summer, morning, evening, will be in instrumental case in Russian. Вечер is evening. How would I say in the evening? Вечером. Again, we add om. Вечером. Вечером. Утро is morning. Утро. How should I say in the morning? Утром. Утром. Утром is in the morning. Uh, лето is summer. Лето. How should I say in summer? Летом. Летом. So now we have three usages of instrumental case. Let's go to the fourth. The fourth usage is after the verb to be. We don't use the verb to be in present tense. I know that I've said it already, I think, two or three thousand times. But practice makes perfect. So, I'm repeating it again and again. The verb to be isn't used in present tense, but it is used in future and the past, and it is used as an infinitive. So, after these forms, we put the object in instrumental ca case. How does it work? Uh, if I say, I was a doctor, so the object after was, doctor, Доктор will be in instrumental case. I will say, я была доктором. I put ом to the word доктор. Я была доктором. Or, он был студентом. So, a student is student. Again, I add ом. Он был студентом. Or, um, мой сын будет... It is a future tense. Мой сын будет школьником. Again, школьник is a schoolboy. And I add ом. Школьником. Мой сын будет школьником. Or, я хочу быть инженером. Я хочу быть. Быть is the infinitive form. Я хочу быть. Инженер is an engineer. And I add again ом. Я хочу быть инженером. And the last fifth usage is after some prepositions. Uh, sub preposition is the most common used preposition, but also there are five more prepositions after which we use instrumental case. They are за, behind, for example, за домом, behind the house, 
Dom is a house and we add om, we get domom, za domom, za domom, behind the house. Uh, perit, in front of, perit, perit. For example, perit shkafom, perit shkafom. Shkaf is a wardrobe and in front of the wardrobe will be perit shkafom, perit shkafom. Then, between, mezdu, mezdu, mezdu domom i derevom. Dom is a house, dereva is a tree, we add om and we get mezdu domom i derevom. Then, nad, over or above, nad, nad domom, ptica letit nad domom. And finally, pot, under or below, uh, pot, pod aknom. Akno is a window. We add om again and we get pod aknom, pod aknom, pod aknom. Is there anything in common with all these prepositions? Yes, they are all prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. So, to sum up, we've just learned five usages of instrumental case. The most important one is instrumental case is used when the object is a tool, like я пишу карандашом. The second one is when it is after the preposition с. Я приду с другом. The third is when we answer a question когда, when, and put the part of the day or season in instrumental case. Утром, вечером, летом. The fourth is after the verb to be. Я буду врачом. Я буду доктором. And the fifth, after some prepositions like между, под, над, перед и за. What about the formation of the instrumental case? Do we always put on? For words that, that end with a consonant or a letter O, yes, we add OM. But not all Russian words end with this letter. If our word ends with the letter A, we change it into OI. For example, я ем ложкой or я ем вилкой or весна is spring. Весной will be in spring. Зима – winter. How to say in winter? Зимой. If the noun ends ya, like семья, replace ya with yoy, like я гуляю с семьей. Я гуляю с семьей. For the words with the soft sign, like день, or е, or yo, like море, си, море, we change it into ем or ем. So how to say in the afternoon? Днем, днем. День changes into днем. How to say we live near the sea? Мы живем рядом с морем. Мы живем рядом с морем. But one note. For words with the soft sign that are feminine, like ночь or осень, we add you. So, how to say in autumn? Осенью. How to say at night? Ночью. Well, that's basically all for instrumental and you've learned really a lot today. Thanks for watching it up to that moment. All my lessons on cases consist of three parts because there are also rules for instrumental, plural for instrumental, for adjectives, possessives, pronouns. But that first lesson is very essential and takes a lot of practice, especially a lot of practice. For now, put nouns in the instrumental case in the following sentences. Я пью чай с... Then comes the noun варенье, gem. Варенье should be in the instrumental case. The second. Варенье едят. Ложка is in the brackets. And you have to put ложка in the instrumental case. Он придет. 
утро is in the brackets. You have to put утро in the instrumental case. Он придет с жена is in the brackets. You have to put жена in the instrumental case. Number five, right? Мы летим над город. Город is a city. You have to put город in the instrumental case. And number six. Моя деревня между лес и река. Лес should be in the instrumental case. Река should be in the instrumental case. Put your answers in the comment section or send them on Facebook or Twitter. Also send, if you want more exercises and more practice on the instrumental case, also send me a message on Facebook or Twitter. Or if you have any other problems with Russian grammar, I'll try to help you. If you want to have private lessons with me, also contact me through social media. I will be very happy to help you. And until next time, увидимся в следующий раз. Пока!